I'm here at the Surface Navy Association's annual symposium, and top community leaders are here with different ways of expressing one main theme, which is that the Navy needs to maximize the ships that it has available. New Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Lisa Franchetti, had an interesting way of putting it. She talks about putting more players on the field. This isn't to say the Navy needs to build more ships, but rather it needs to maximize the ones that it has. It needs to get ships out of construction faster. It needs to get ships out of maintenance faster. It needs to get ships through training faster. That way everyone is available to go to the fight if called upon. We heard a similar sentiment from Swoboss, the Chief of Surface Forces, Vice Admiral Brendan McLean, and his way of talking about this was 75 mission-capable surface ships. The idea is that these 75 ships would be able to scramble into battle if called upon. So again, similar to the Chief of Naval Operations, this means having high levels of training, high levels of maintenance um, being completed, and just really ensuring that they're ready. That way, if something happens, they're ready to go. And finally, the commander of U.S. Fleet Forces Command, Admiral Daryl Cottle, talked about the fleet in three ways. He said there's about 100 ships today that are in depot maintenance and will not be able to go to the fight. There's another 100 that are already deployed and therefore are tied up. So there's about 100 left, and those are the ones that he really wants to focus on. Obviously, ship maintenance is a big concern of his, but he said even though there's progress being made there, he wants to double down on training. He wants to get ships through training faster. That way, if there's an emergency, those ships are trained and ready to go out to the fight as quick as possible. So we're hearing from all the surface community leaders different ways of looking at the same problem, but the ultimate goal is get maintenance done faster, get training done faster. That way, these ships can go if called upon. Another topic that's come up in several different panels here at the Surface Navy Association Conference is directed energy. Obviously, there's a number of destroyers in the Red Sea today that are shooting down Houthi missiles, Houthi drones, and they're using very expensive defense missiles to do that. The Navy would love to transition to laser weapons. That way, for a much lower price, they can have these successful engagements. Vice Admiral Brendan McLean said he was disappointed the Navy doesn't have access to these yet, even though there are several laser weapons that are on ships as prototypes. The USS Preble is testing one, but it's not one of the ships that's in the Middle East right now on deployment. He said he'd much rather see laser weapons have their technology development accelerated. He wants to see them out on ships for experimentation. A few other speakers actually touched on this, including Rear Admiral Fred Pyle, who's the Director of Surface Warfare at the Pentagon. He really spoke about the need to also continue accelerating the investment to the greatest extent he can within his responsibility as funding the surface force. So hopefully by this time next year, we might see some movement with so many of the community leaders really pushing to bring this technology to ships as quickly as possible because we have an operational imperative to do so.